Hey folks, I want to take a minute today to discuss some of the things we've been seeing uh, over the last week or so uh, in regards to trout fishing and, and trout patterns, uh, if you will. And talking with good friend and, and renowned guide, uh, Mike McBride, you know, he, he shares some of the same concerns and, uh, and some of the same ideas about what's going on. And what we're seeing is, uh, you know, we're finding trout or finding these fish in areas that you typically wouldn't see them. And, you know, that's, that's edges of deep channels, uh, tops of sandbars adjacent to deep water. You know, uh, this time of year, these fish with the high water should be, uh, you know, up on the flats, patrolling the flats and grass beds. But while there's you know a, a few fish up there in those areas uh it seems like the bigger fish the better fish are still reluctant uh to come up on top and are are holding in these areas uh kind of where they have a you know a quick getaway now what causes that uh i couldn't tell you you know like i said mike mike seems to think they're they're displaced maybe uh, uh still kind of confused you know now again i'm talking about the the bigger fish the better fish uh we are seeing you know trout keeper sized trout and and lots of redfish uh up on the flats knee deep thigh deep water uh but these bigger fish are still seem to be a little gun shy and not sure what the trigger is going to be to get them uh, back to what we consider a normal pattern. But I know these high winds probably aren't helping matters, uh, even though it's bringing in the water and it's, it's keeping our water up. Um, you know, these, some of these bigger fish, I believe, go, go deep or stay deep when these winds uh, across these flats get up like they are 20, 30 miles an hour. And so what all of this is, is doing uh, for our thought, for thought process is putting us fishing areas that, you know, we wouldn't typically fish. And if the signs are there, uh, we're giving them a try and we're definitely marking them down, uh, making mental notes of, of uh, what we're catching and, and, you know, correlating it obviously with the major and minor feeds uh, and stuff like that but but we're we're able to go back to these areas uh day and day you know day in and day out and it, it's it's proving to work now we know it's not going to last uh you know all spring or all summer we know eventually we're going to have to kind of repattern these fish but i guess what i'm trying to say is what i'm trying to suggest is uh you know, don't don't be afraid to, to to try an area that you've never fished before. You know, especially if the ingredients are there, uh, especially if it has the the deep water adjacent to it, and and things like that. And make your mental notes uh, while you're out there fishing as well. But uh, you know, try to get away from just going to the same old spot, and and maybe seek out some of these new areas. They they may work. Uh, you know, for for another few weeks, or they they may work for another couple months. Just depends on when we get that specific trigger to get those fish out of that uh, pattern and up onto the flats. But just figured I'd share that with you. Uh, see if it helps. You know, try it next time you're out. Y'all be safe this weekend. Looks like we've got some pretty decent weather coming our way, and uh, uh, should be an enjoyable weekend to be out on the water. All right. Talk to y'all later.